I have never talked about this publicly. Um, I don't know if you guys want to get into it or not. I don't know if this is the right time. Um, well, I mean, you brought it up now, so you might as well do it. But I, I, <laughs> I'm going to get really emotional probably. But, like, I've had mental health struggles. Right. And you guys were part of it. You saw it up close and personal in Indianapolis last year. And, Rocky, I think I talked to you about it. Yeah. Um, God, man, this is tough. But after um, our national championship show, going into the national championship game, um, I lost control. And uh, I, I don't know. I was just kind of out of my mind. Can't really explain it. And uh, so anyway, when I got to the game, and if anybody saw me there, they probably knew something was up because I just – I was sitting down on the carpet – inside of the, uh, the the facility there at Indianapolis, and I just couldn't get my bearings. And I called the roommate. I called my ex-wife. Um, I think my ex-wife freaked out and called you guys. She and did. Y'all yeah. had to make it across the field through a sea of people. And uh, you guys came and hung with me. I couldn't explain what was going on. I just said, I've lost control. Like, my mind is in a different spot. This is really surreal. I don't feel safe. Um. Then our friend Jimmy Anthony came and took over. You guys had to work, and he sat with me through the first half, and then I got an Uber, and I went on, and I, I, I pretty much had put myself in a better spot. But from that point on, I went and I sought help, and I got on some meds, and, and things have been a lot better. But my point is, like, you can't pick and choose who suffers from that. I didn't ask to suffer from that. That's right. You're talking about mental illness? Mental illness, yeah. yeah. It's a real thing, and people don't believe it, man. Trust me. And I reached out to a guy the other day. I saw, saw a guy on Twitter, and he said, man, say some prayers. I'm really struggling. So, you know, I sent him some direct messages and just said, man, get some help. Yeah. Worth it. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is a crisis in our country, and it, I don't know if we just recognize it more now, and it's always been this way, or if the way the world is and our society is, if it has grown to that point to where it is a crisis in our country, and the debate over in the chat room is about uh, gun regulation or mental health regulations. Uh, I mean, t t there doesn't have to be a right answer. They all could be right answers, or they all could be, you know, you know, it doesn't have to be a win for the left or the right, but mental illness and uh, and I even hate using mental illness. How about mental struggles? People struggle with life. Life is not easy. Um, but I do even, think even though even though for someone like you, where you know, dream job, dream situation, you know, I've got a great you got life, money, got yeah. a great healthy family. kids, right? I, I'll just say this. So I think there is because there were parts of me where I wasn't content in life, and then that was completely different. Like you know, people out there say. Everyone can be happy. That's not necessarily true. I think a good people, a good part of society can be, but when it hits you, and it's hit me three times, and it is a dark, dark pool, and it is scary. And if you know anybody that's suffering, just talk to them. And I thought I was above therapy, but nobody is. I mean, people need people to be able to talk to. And I would say that night when we – I mean, and that. you guys saw me. It was a different me. No, 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 no. I was, I was shaken. You know, your, your ex-wife had called me, and I could hear the concern in her voice. I knew right away something was wrong. And you had called me, and then she had called me. Um, and I, I mean, D Dunaway was probably the same way. I didn't know what to say to you, right? But we, the first thing I did was I stopped and I prayed over you that you would have that God would give you some peace and some calm in this situation. Uh, that's all I knew to do, but we stood there with you and we listened to you and we talked to you. I didn't. Uh, there were no magic words like Dunaway, you know, as good as he is with words, wasn't going to come up and say something was going to fix the situation you were in. But what a real friend does is what you just said is you 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 just stop and listen and be with someone, right? Well, and that's what I needed. I yeah, need, I needed familiar faces. I needed you guys for whatever reason because I didn't. In that moment, I hate to say this, I didn't trust myself. Yeah, yeah. And, that's, and that's, you know, with what we saw yesterday in Nashville, which 100% was suicide by police, and, you know, people who commit suicide are people who just slip into, you know, dark addictions or dark depression. It's all a mental illness, a mental struggle, a mental disease. Um, Rockstar and I have dealt with it uh, many well, times. I've dealt with it since I was a child. I'm still in therapy. Yep.
I mean, I do. It's just it's something. And some a prime example is something you said that has everything. Robin Williams. Um, reading articles on him, and uh, I think I read an article. Uh, Sam Neill wrote about him. I don't know why. Uh, but they had the the funniest guy. He's always. But that was his depression. Is that's the only time I'm happy when I got to be the center of attention, making people laugh and everything. And then when 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 you leave, I'm alone with myself and I struggle. And he had that problem and he knew that i think he had was it parkinson's or dementia he'd early said he knew that if i'm depressed now and i can't be alone uh things are going to get worse for me and just it's so that's one of the ones that hit me the most is when robin williams died and just what he went through just knowing that like it's just there's people like that are on top of the world that can do serious roles and comedic roles but then i still have to go to bed at night alone i still have to think i'm alone in my head when you guys leave and it's just uh, it's hard to deal with and you can relate to so many things so many people have that but won't talk about it because it's embarrassing or you're gonna laugh at me because i'm depressed i'm not i shouldn't be well that's why we try to be as honest as we can on the show and i appreciate you bringing it up uh well i just think it's important in this moment it just felt right i've been i've been wanting to talk about it at some time i didn't know when the right time was but if you know if anybody's thinking about taking their lives or even worse going out and like taking other lives mm -hmm. to make sure their life is taken i mean there is anxiety meds that you can get on that will make you better i'm on i take one a day one pill a day and it has completely changed my outlook oh no no I, no I you're, still, you're you're a different person from yeah, that point like i don't blow up yeah. anymore uh, you guys remember um i was a lot more moody and i'm more even kill now there's still times that i get a little depressed and i think that's probably more um, I don't want to say substance abuse, but it probably is from long weekends, things like that. Um, but I'm working things out and it's just, it's really tough. And I know there's a ton of people struggling and we don't even know who they are because you guys never knew it until that moment. No, I didn't know. I mean, you know, I was emotional. Yeah, but I, I didn't know you were in the place you were in until we saw you in Lucas Oil Field that night. And uh, that was, that was. It's scary because yeah. there, there are people out there that are like, you know, back to Robin Williams. Why would a guy like that take his life? I truly believe Robin Williams wasn't in control that night. Yeah, probably and, not. No, and that happened, and that happens a lot. And yeah. and and we we do a show four hours a day, and we try not to blend in politics or the, the ways of the world, so that uh, you guys can escape from it. But uh, it was a good timing for LT uh, to bring that up after the tragedy yesterday in Nashville. Um, as we are we ready to go to break yet? I don't want yeah, to shorten yeah, yeah. this. No, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I, I, you look. And, well, then and I, so and I can I can say a funny line at this yeah, point. Why, yeah. why, why, why start now? Uh, since you've been medicated, I'm up ten stakes. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. I've lost a little edge. Uh, uh, Keep taking that pill. Uh, yeah. and, and, and again, I'm not trying to make this about me. I just thought it was the no, right. No, no, no. You, you, it, it is not the about right you. Because it, it is, is for a lot of people right. embarrassing to talk about. Right. I'm just to a point in my life where nothing is embarrassing to me. That's right. right. Everybody's got so many faults yep. and so much shit going on in their I lives. Know. And I just think it is important to talk about this. Read now. the chat room and you'll see how much people appreciate that you were willing to be transparent there. Um, but I would also say from our standpoint, we are together a lot. And this was on a trip to Indianapolis where we were together more than a lot. Yeah, and we were having a great time. We were having a great time, and even we didn't really see this. So, you know, you're not always going to see it is my point there, right? Yeah, and I'll tell you when it really happened. So that moment, uh, I talked to a couple of people about getting on meds. I was like, well, just let me, let me clear my head. And then I was on my birthday trip. I was in my, one of my favorite places in the world down on the beach. I was with my kids. And it started to happen again. And I called my therapist and I said, look, you got to call me something in today. And so I went to the pharmacist down there and I started immediately and I haven't given it up since. And, you know, it gets to a point for a lot of people. I mean, I, I pray to God you never experience this. Um, and Rockstar, I don't know how deep yours has gone. I know you've dealt with it a while. But if you get to that level where you feel that despair, it is awful. Well, it is awful. I'm a proponent of therapy and stuff like that and and i remember talking to you about it several times trying to get you in and just to say like it is not a thing where you don't have to make a public announcement michael scott and declare that i'm in therapy just, <laughs> you just like this that's the thing where people are like what are people going to say well who cares that's right like if you're feeling like this you don't have to tell the world like hey i can't come into work tomorrow i'm going to try therapy just that's just what go. i told one of my kids the other day i said look there are so many kids that are in therapy if you ever need to talk to somebody you know, nobody has to know about this. You just tell me or mom, 
and we'll get help for you. So it's yeah. harder for kids to talk to mom oh, or yeah. dad. Like it's, that's, that's more of a difficult thing because your mom and dad, it's another embarrassing thing. Like I don't want you to know what I'm struggling with. There, there are three people in the world. There are people who are in therapy, people who should be in therapy, and people who are in denial. <laughs> we're, 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 we're back in a moment on the next round. <laughs>